Never set out. Pilgrim, stand by for injection. Report attitude. Three simulations in two days. Crank in cabin pressure failure. Uh, give him an erroneous signal. Rick, give him oxidizer level red. Level red. Coming into retro position. Ah, you lousy. Maneuver controller off. Attitude control direct. Event timer stop. 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 One fine day you realize to your astonishment, there is no way at all of having your mind anywhere else but in the present. Because even when you think about the past or the future, you're doing it now, aren't you? And that results in a very curious transformation of consciousness. You feel that you, or that the present moment is flowing along and carrying you with it all the time. Just like the flow of the Tao. The flow of the Tao is as it, what we would call the flow of the present. See? And you're with it. There's no way of being anywhere else. The Jung Yong, the book called uh, The Unwobbling Pivot, says the Tao is that from which one cannot deviate. It says the Tao is that from which one cannot deviate. It says the Tao is that from which one cannot deviate. It says the Tao is that from which one cannot deviate.
form of a Zen story. The master Joshu said to Nansen, what is the Tao? Nansen replied, your everyday mind is the Tao. Joshu asked, how do you get into accord with it? Nansen replied, when you try to accord, you deviate. First of all, I'm going to talk about ideas which come strictly I'm out hungry. of Lao Tzu's book, The Tao Te Ching. And uh, of course, the basic thing in the whole I'm philosophy is the conception of Tao. I'm this word I'm has many meanings. And the book of Lao Tzu starts out by saying that the Tao which can be spoken is not the eternal Tao. Or uh, you can, there's a pun in there, which you can't quite um, put into English. You can't give all the meanings. Because the word Tao means both the way or course of nature or of everything, it also means to speak. So, uh, the actual opening phrase of the book, the way which can be described, then give it its second meaning, the way that can be traveled is not the eternal way. Then give it its second meaning, the way that can be traveled not the eternal way. Then give it its second meaning, the way that can be traveled is not the eternal way. Let's make some more coffee. Delusion. A serious delusion. The last four years, I think. 
a serious delusion. Photographs about which you've had hallucinations, which you believed you held in your hand. They never existed. In other words, there is no way in which the Tao, or following the Tao, can, uh, there's no recipe for it. Uh, I, I can't give you any uh, do-it-yourself instructions, A, B, C, D, as to how it's done. Now that's awkward, isn't it? But we can gather what it is uh, by absorbing certain atmospheres and attitudes connected with those who follow it and from the art and the poetry and all the expressions and the anecdotes and stories uh, that illustrate the philosophy of the way so this word then the the way or the course of things is not uh, you must understand this. Uh, some Christian missionaries translated Tao as the Logos, taking as their point of departure the opening passage of St. John's Gospel, in the beginning was the Word. Now if you look up a Chinese translation of the Bible, it says in the beginning was the Tao. And the Tao was with God and the Tao was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by it, and without it was not anything made that was made. Uh, so they've substituted Tao there. Now that may make a very funny effect on a Chinese philosopher, because the idea of things being made by the Tao is absurd. <laughs> the Tao is not a manufacturer, and it's not a governor. It doesn't rule, as it were, in the position of a king. Good things are about. It 
lays no claim to them. In other words, the Tao doesn't stand up and say, I have made all of you, I have filled this earth with its beauty and glory, fall down before me and worship. The Tao, having done anything, you know, always escapes and is not around uh, to receive any thanks or acknowledgement because it loves obscurity. And Lao Tzu said the Tao is like water. It always seeks the low level. So it's a very mysterious idea. Tao then is not really equivalent with any Western or Hindu idea of God because God is always associated with being the Lord. Uh, there's always the idea of the king and the ruler attached but not in the Chinese Tao philosophy. The Tao is not something different from nature, from ourselves, from our surrounding uh, trees and waters and air. The Tao is the way all that behaves, from ourselves, from our surrounding uh, trees and waters and air. The Tao is the way all that ourselves, from our surrounding uh, trees and waters and air. The Tao is the way so all that's that how it is, until Grissom from resurfaces. <laughs> I'm the acting president, and I say starting with this anniversary festival, we run the city into the ground. And what's with that stupid grin? Life's been good to me.
How many fingers, please? The basic Chinese idea of the universe is really that it's an organism. And as we shall see when we get on to Zhuangzi, who is the sort of elaborator of Lao Tzu, uh, he sees everything operating together so that nowhere can you find the controlling center. There isn't any. The world is a system of interrelated components, none of which can survive without each other. Just as in the case of bees and flowers, you will never find bees around in a place where there aren't flowers, and you will never find flowers around in a place where there aren't bees or insects that do the equivalent job. And what that tells us secretly is that although bees and flowers look different from each other, they're inseparable. They, uh, to use a very important Taoist expression, they arise mutually. positive and negative, to be and not to be, yes and no, light and dark arise uh, mutually, come into being. There's none is uh, cause and effect, it's not that relationship at all. It's like the egg and the hen. 
So as the bees and the flowers uh, coexist in the same way as high and low, back and front, long and short, loud and soft. All those experiences are experienceable only in terms of their polar experience. So the so Chinese the idea of nature is that all the various species arise mutually because they interdepend. And this total system of interdependence it is that up. Don't tell